Hello, this is the short version of the build. Uh, I'm going to flash by my gear pretty quickly. Uh, Knight stacked up 400% main thing, Samurai 600%. Uh, convenience, Void Knight 600%, that's optional. Swordsman 400%. Uh, something that helps with survival, Dark Knight 400% with Berserker 250%. Convenience. Monk to 50%, Convenience, Summoner to 50%. Uh, across my gear, all Alexander, uh, Stamina, Break Damage Dealt, Damage Dealt Spinning Slash, Damage Dealt Great Sword Combo Ability, uh, and then trying to get some critical, oh, well, yeah, the highest Break Damage Delts I can take advantage of, some damage taken at max HP, and status ailment resistance um, up to 100%. Also have an Ifrit badge, using the Hermes Sandal during Lightbringer. Forgot to actually put my blessing on. Uh, spinning Slash is on my first link, because uh, that's the one I'm going to be doing. And then I'm using Sentinel for survival, Seal of Blood for mobbing or enemy waves, Lunatic for the speed, Lightbringer for survival. And then on the Monk uh, Master for the supercharge, uh, I have the the Lightbringer spam, so Cyclic Warrior 600%, Void Knight 400%, Evoker 120%, the Leviathan Primary Blessing, in this case on a badge. I have Increased MP Limit Boost Rate, Master Points Category 4. And then for to help out, Summoner 600%. And then for Survival, I have Paladin 400%. And for Convenience to charge up faster red mage 250 percent and also as a sometimes a damage boost summarai 250 percent also world map co-op rifting uh, with others uh, gambler 120 percent just as a backup in case no mega elixir uh, but i am vulnerable on this job and can die because i don't have knight for uh 400 percent but I do have Improved Effect Sentinel, Focus, Lightbringer Duration, HP, Titan on pretty much all pieces of gear, one Leviathan somewhere in all this, <coughs> pardon me, Buff Duration, uh, Luck was there for Gambler, Buff Duration across the board. Uh, I have badges for Leviathan and Bahamut, uh, Muscle Belt, and Monk 400%, sorry, forgot to mention that. Uh, to help out with the Sentinel, make the Sentinel a lot stronger. Uh, allies, stat sticks, Liberator 600%, and then the other two stats just stacking them up. Uh, probably should have been all night on every single piece for more stamina. Uh, Lionheart for uh, D-pad left and right to keep the allies alive uh, so that they keep giving me their stats. Uh, so, Neon as a Knight, and Ash on Liberator. Ideally, their gear all Alexander, but sometimes I didn't have that. Uh, master Points, we are looking at Stamina on the Knight. Knight Job Affinity for more Stamina. We'll come back to that. Parry MP Recovery to sustain. Uh, critical MP Recovery to help with the spin. And then some damage taken at max HP to get that to minus 100% then the rest to some type of critical or oh, some type of break damage dealt on the monk we have to help with the lightbringer spam increase MP limit boost rate and then we have category 3 lightbringer duration just to make that all last longer and then to help out with the sentinel we have monk all the way up to 400% when it's added together HP stacked up and then for the other buffs, Lunatic and Focus, we have buff duration. And then if we ever accidentally parry on the Monk, we have parry and P recovery, 49%. So we're going to go in, uh, look at the Rift, try to keep this video under 10 minutes. Because the other one is like 90 minutes long with a lot of explanations for a lot of different things. Uh, under the assumption that no one's reading, uh, like it, it's under the assumption that you're not reading the sp spreadsheet. Uh, or just kind of want things explained instead of a text format. Um, 
I say you, but it's just whoever's looking at the video. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, monsters in the rift. Bomb for stamina. Skeleton for stamina. Coral for spirit and monster quest efficiency. Malboro for spirit. Behemoth for combo ability stat bonus and damage dealt to bosses. Also bomb for damage dealt to bosses. Uh, before you go into a rift... Uh, drink a Mega Ether. Did I mention this was an endgame build? <laughs> this is an endgame build. Uh, starting on Monk, we're going to do a Lunatic, Sentinel, Lightbringer. Probably try to focus a little bit. I will probably chain cancel. You don't have to do the chain cancel part. Switch to Knight. I'm not even using Seal of Blood on this fight. <coughs> Pardon me. Even though I could. Do a normal attack, and then start spinning until the phase is over. Also, somewhere in all of that, you're pressing D-pad left and right. And also, or, if you're on the keyboard, R or T, in order to make your allies live longer. So yeah, <laughs> a super rough version of all of this. Um, and again, explanations are going to be in the longer video, and there's going to be timestamps all over the place to jump to those spots. And ideally, should have focused all the way up to four. And could have seal of blood and chain canceled and all this other stuff, but... So, it did take a while. Uh, video is under 8 minutes, as long as we don't try to go for mobs. <laughs> Pardon me. And yeah, that's that's how the, uh, the swordsman... I'm sorry, not the swordsman. The knight could go. I think this is probably going to kill my inventory. Uh, mobs. You know what? We have time. Still under 10 minutes. Um, let's see if we can find a short mob session. Nope. Nope. Wow. Not this time, huh? Okay. So, um, just as a quick aside of what that could be like, I could just uh this is gonna suck because i don't have my mp um before you start your spin with regular mobs you do a seal of blood i am gonna chain cancel here just to get started too much mp loss And once they break, they burst. Ooh. Ah, crap. So, rough idea. So that you don't have to manually soul burst each of them. And how that could go. But yeah, um, longer video will be in the link. Uh, it's still processing. Uh, but yeah, I hope that helps.